Uh, present video is uh, part B of the diode applications. Part A we have already covered uh, where we discuss the diode equivalent circuit, clipper and the diode clamp. This video will cover the diode uh, clampers, peak to peak detector and voltage multipliers. So uh, let us start uh, with the clamper circuit. Clamper uh, basically is a DC restorer because it can restore the DC in the waveform and uh, that means it can add a DC voltage to the signal. And uh, it's used in uh, television uh, receivers uh, where uh, one has to store uh, the DC component of the video signal which has been lost. Now we can uh, see here a simple uh, clamper circuit with its block diagram. Here the input is a sinusoidal signal with the peaks uh, Vp and minus Vp. Output is uh, has been clamped here to zero volts and uh, complete waveform is above this level. Now this uh, representation can also be shown like the input is uh, sine wave uh, is this a source and uh, this source after the clamper would consist of the sine wave source with DC uh, part uh, being present in series with the source. That means DC has been added uh, to this uh, sinusoidal signal source. Okay, now <coughs> we'll see uh, a circuit of a positive clamper. This positive clamper circuit uh, consists of uh, its capacitor, a diode and a resistor RL. Now uh, we'll see that a sinusoidal signal is applied having a peak uh, plus Vp and minus Vp. Uh, first uh, let us consider the negative half cycle of the input. Why? The reason being we could have started with the positive half cycle. Since the, it is the initial cycle, first cycle, so capacitor is not charged, we will not be able, able to get the uh, right uh, uh, kind of uh, output. So we will start uh, with a waveform that uh, power biases this diode so that the capacitor gets charged. So we start with a negative half cycle. In this negative half cycle, diode will turn on because of the negative peak. At uh, uh, when uh, it is at the negative peak, uh, C will be fully charged. The capacitor would be fully charged, and uh, and when capacitor and the diode was uh, on, it was conducting so equivalent circuits like that. Capacitor is fully charged to Vp here with the polarity minus plus. But uh, once this peak uh, goes uh, a little beyond uh, a negative uh, peak value, that is li little less than this, the diode stops conducting and so the equivalent circuit would be like, uh, it should be in open and then the output here will be the capacitor voltage plus the output on the source. So this output here will follow the capacitor voltage plus this voltage being present here. So uh, what we observe here, uh, we, this is the equivalent circuit, so RLC time constant uh, being taken here which is much larger than the period of the signal, that means input period of the signal, T of the signal. So capacitor acts like a, a battery of VP volts and uh, because of this, uh, these uh, voltages minus, minus plus and minus plus, they are in series adding. So the output voltage uh, will be twice Vp. So here we'll get twice Vp. So here output peak is twice Vp and this is at zero volts. So this uh, waveform has been clamped to, to, the, uh, mm, to the positive level. Now, negative clamper, if the diode is turned around, 
then now uh, you can have a negative damper. One thing which is very important uh, here is to note that uh, in this case the dark points in the direction of the shift. That means here this is the direction of the diode here and that means if this is the direction of the diode then the uh, for this clamper circuit it will shift the waveform up. So this is just a, a rule of thumb. Uh, that means if you have to determine uh, how the output would look like and how where it will shift, you can just find out by this uh, uh, this uh, uh, this guess. So now uh, instead of this, if you have a bias clamper, uh, when a waveform is to be clamped to some reference level, you can put a battery in series uh, with the clamping. Uh, diode. Uh, what we observe here is this uh, input here and uh, you will notice here the output would be a positively biased clamper so it will be at a V1 level of V1. The lower level of the output waveform will be at V1 and the uh, the upper peak of the waveform will be V1 plus twice Vp. So this uh, waveform has been clamped uh, to the level uh, as desired uh, by the uh, circuit. Now we'll uh, talk about the peak detector circuit. Uh, this peak detector circuit is a, a very important circuit. Uh, this appeared uh, many a times in uh, uh, in the case of analog circuits. Uh, here, uh, what we notice here, first thing is when if we see the half wave rectifier with a capacitor filter. Uh, what it does is this circuit gives me a DC output equal to the peak value. This we have already seen. Now here uh, uh, that was using the uh, rectifier diode. But instead of rectifier diode if I use a normal uh, small signal diode uh, then uh, this circuit which we used to call is a half wave rectifier circuit would be called as a peak detector circuit. So here this is the circuit of this kind here. So this is a diode here and there is a capacitor output, capacitor filter. So this is basically a circuit of a peak detector. And there is another circuit previous to this that said it is to be a clamper circuit, usual clamper circuit. So cascade of this uh, clamper and peak to and the peak detector will give me the output uh, which is uh, uh, having a peak of twice uh, Vp, the twice of the peak value of the input. So, and uh, uh, the reference level is uh, 0 volts. So uh, this uh, cascade gives me peak to peak detector. So this is one of the very important circuits. And uh, this circuit uh, could find applications uh, uh, to find the uh, voltage levels of a non sinusoidal signals like uh, most of the meters which are available they are of RMS type and they measure the RMS value but uh, if the signal is not sinusoidal so triangular or any other waveform then how to measure the peaks of these signals but this kind of arrangement here peak to peak detector can measure peak to peak value of the signal so that is one advantage here and this could be used for that. Now another circuit uh, which is uh, very frequently uh, referred to are the voltage multipliers. These are the circuits which multiply the voltage and uh, and uh, voltage multiplier or voltage doubler we would say is basically a peak to peak uh, detector and uh, uh, it's uh, very straightforward that the same circuit here like a uh, uh, this uh, can work as a voltage doubler if the we replace uh, rectifier diode is used. Uh, if we instead of uh, uh, the diode which we have used here a loop uh, small signal diode instead of a small signal diode here we can use a rectifier diode and use the frequency instead of high frequency we use a, a mains frequency like 50 hertz then uh, it will become a doubler circuit. Okay, the connecting end section to this circuit 
uh, we can uh, make a tripler and so on. So these are the simple uh, voltage uh, multiplier circuits uh, but uh, the applications what these circuits find is uh, voltage multiplier circuits for high voltage and low current device. Uh, that means uh, uh, you can generate high voltages by the multiplications where only requirement is of low current it's not of high current then only you can uh, uh, use this uh, method and uh, such uh, requirements are, are like uh, uh, cathode tubes used in television receivers oscilloscopes and computer monitors the CRTs only need uh, uh, high voltage and uh, low currents so there you can use uh, uh, these voltage multipliers uh, one could use transformers as well to give uh, high voltages uh, but transformers are very bulky and uh, traumas, very high transformation ratios uh, really give a very bulky transformer so one could uh, use few stages of uh, uh, multipliers and uh, after multipliers one could use a, uh, maybe a transformer to get a high voltage with a uh, low current requirements. Thank you.